what's good everybody it's your boy the black james bond and we're here to see mama t's fish fry i'm pretty sure i reacted to this guy already he did the um white guy goes to a black cookout that's definitely him but we're gonna see what it's like when he goes to mama t's fish fry now you know if her name is mama t the food is good let's be honest let's be honest if her name is mama t Whatever she's making, just give me a plate and then give me one to go. I got the aluminum foil, I got the Tupperware container. It don't matter, you know. So let's get to it. Y'all being real patient with me and all, but here's what's been going on. One, I did not make Mama T's birthday. I'll tell you why, because my dad decided to have a heart attack, because about seven years ago, he decided that mayonnaise and Slim Jims was a food group. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? Fucking white people, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I did, however, get her a birthday present and he sent her said birthday present. Now, he apparently she present. liked it, because I right. got the invite. Well, I got her one of them 25 gallon fish fryers, the one you hook up to the propane bottle and you can cook a uh, jagillion fish at one time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know where you're at, but down here in South Mississippi, we fry a lot of fish. Of course. Well, for Memorial Day weekend, I got the call. I said, yeah, I'll be there. I'm down like four flats. Well, she, she invited me over and all that stuff. <laughs> Who is he hanging around, bro? I know he went to the black cookout, but I'm down like four flats. And then four flats on a Cadillac. <laughs> ah, he got the gist of it though. All right? But he missed Mama T's birthday because his dad decided to have a heart attack. <laughs> Slim Jams and mayonnaise is not a food group. All right? Yeah, it's not. Is it? <laughs> well, I knew what I was getting into. So about a week before time for the, for the fish fry, I started making preparations. Uh oh. I said, I ain't, well, it's too damn hot in South Mississippi now to go over there in jeans and boots like I was last time. So I'm going to try to fit in. I'm going to go get me a pair of Jordans. All right. I called my buddy. I said, buddy, what kind of Jordans I need to where I don't get laughed at? He said, just go get you a pair. Don't get the flakes. Nothing wrong with them. But he said, laughed at. For a black cookout. I don't care. Right? Like that little kid said, I don't wear feel out to look nice. I wear them because they're comfortable. But also, I'm kind of a sneakerhead, so I can't really say. A number of Jordans. I said, all right, I'll run down there to Dix and get me a pair. He said, no, 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 boy, you can't go down there to Dix and get Jordans. I said, yeah, they sell them there. I didn't think he knew. I had no idea that there was a special kind of Jordan you had to get. What, yes. Apparently what they sell at Dick's is Team Jordans, and you get your ass laughed straight out of the barbecue on that one. <laughs> ah, hey, what's your favorite Jordans? What's your favorite Jordans? I'm going to tell you my favorite. My favorite. The Nines. These are the Dream It, Do It Nines. I love all the Nines, all right? But the nines are my favorite Jordans ever. Like, these are my babies. Like, I love these shoes. Not even just this shoe. I have on another pair of nines right now. But I wear them to work. I got on the bread nines. But the nines are my favorite. I swear. I just want a whole collection of nines. I even got some custom Jones. I got some custom Jones, too. Look. What's your favorite pair of Jordans, though? Leave it in the comment section. You gotta go get number Jordans. Yep. At this point when he's talking, I'm as lost as an illegal immigrant at a vote for Trump rally. I'm talking about I ain't got a shit and clue what the hell's going on. None, no, never have. So I go on one of them websites that he sent me to fly something. Bought me a pair of Jordans. The only one I had in my size, size 15. I had to get a size 15. Hang on. Yo, I hate but, uh, I hate shopping for shoes. Anyway, if I show bro. up there, then my... Look, I wear size 12 and I hate shopping for shoes. This man talking about 15, bro. You can't find shoes nowhere, bro. It's so annoying. I, nah, I don't wish I wore a size 9. But size 9 people, the shoes look better. And they always have them. You're never going to run a size 9. Let's be honest. 
my Jordans. And after they done, you know, can, you know, they laughed at me and stuff like that. You know, I thought it'd be a good conversation piece. They had told me that I have committed one of the utmost crimes known to man. What did he do? Apparently, when you get a pair of Jordans, you ain't supposed to walk normal. Okay, you ain't supposed to just walk, like, increase your toe and stuff. They put me in jump man jail is what they called it. Oh, let me get my shoe off. Hang on. Right. See that right there? Got me a pair of number 23. Right there. There's a crease right here. You creased your Jordans. You creased your Jordans? You creased your Jordans. Apparently, no. you're not supposed to walk normal when no, you have a you pair don't. of Jordans. You're supposed to do walk on your heels like a March of the Penguins type shoes. deal they or to shoes. keep your shoes Those in pristine honest. condition. But the price of them some bitches, I completely understand. That I digress on that. Anyway, on to the fish fry. So <laughs> I say hey to everybody and have Half of them remember me and all that type of stuff. Well, we get good into cookout. it, and I want to help, but I don't want to piss nobody off. Don't. Okay. So I asked Mama T. I said, Mama T, can I help with anything? She, she said, yeah, go go see the boy that's, that's frying the fish, see if you can help him. So I, I go over there, and he's letting me help. That's how I know I'm climbing the ladder with this family, because <laughs> he's letting me help. And when I say help, I mean I got to hold the, batter in the, fish. the 10 little pan thing oh. with the napkins in it for when he dumped the fish in. Oh, that's a lot of trust. And then somebody would come get that for me and take it to the food tank. You know how much trust that takes for them to have you hold the pan, the aluminum pan, to dump the fish in? You know how much trust your family has in you? You kind of made it. You kind of made it. I think he's advancing really quickly. Because if you drop that pan... You might as well clock out. Just clock out. Just don't come back. All right? Because they're looking for you. Hey, well, because apparently they did not trust me to walk 25 feet from where I was standing to over there to the food table. Anything could happen. There. Anyway, but I'm helping. <laughs> I'm acting like a fucking statue, and I'm doing what a damn table could have done, but guess what? That's <laughs> Now, one of the main things that I was excited about, about going back to this fish fry, is I was going to win my damn money back in dice. Okay, so I went into the bank, got me a hundred dollars, ones, stack of them like that right yonder. I had a band around them and everything. I lost. Let me tell you something. I really need a, a course on that shit because this shit they, they keep making up stuff. What the fuck is a side bet? There's a some bitch over here who's betting me. He ain't even rolling. <laughs> ah, yo. They are hoeing this man. All right. <laughs> all right. They just making the rules. Your money got to go, buddy. You got to learn the game. All right. You got to just like you had to climb your way up that ladder with the food. You got to, you got to earn It's a name. side bet. There's a <laughs> some bitch over here who's betting me. He ain't even rolling. He ain't even in the game. He just keep on telling me to re up. So I'm putting money over there and here. Why didn't we just increase the minimum? Why did, well, I'm betting two places, and when I lose, I lose both of them, but I might win that one and look. Ho, oh, I, I won like two. Anyway, I got the band that the $100 came in left because that's all I got left. I'm going to win my money back. <laughs> Bet. I, I'm coming with it. I'm going to win it back. I don't know when, but I'm going to get it back. Never. Well, anyway, everything's going good. Oh, Never. another thing I learned. Somebody could have told me the little red bottles of the fish fry down here in the south, that's not ketchup at a black fish that's fry. That's hot sauce. That's hot sauce. That's hot sauce. Look, come on. Come on now. That's not ketchup. That's hot sauce. Somebody could have told me that. There ain't <laughs> a speck of ketchup nowhere, and there damn sure wasn't no tartar sauce. It was hot sauce or dry. That's all you got. See? Well, we, you know, we getting... We getting on pretty well, pretty well. You know, I'm seeing everybody shaking hands. Done lost my money. Broke as hell again. And, uh... <laughs> One of them boys asked me, said, hey, Zach, come on, we finna dance. I blame y'all for this. What dances are they gonna have this man do? If it's anything with the Cupid Shuffle, if it's the, uh, what's that, Jane? The R. Kelly joke? I'm, uh, never mind. He said, 
first person get up, I'm gonna be the first one to dance for something like that. Step in the name of love. Why did nobody tell me that I'm supposed to do two rounds of insanity and one round of P90X before I go get on the damn dance floor? <laughs> this is insane. Cause once you get there, you don't you fucking don't leave. No. You're just there. <laughs> A week, the, whoever had the damn iPod that was playing music had five songs back to back and not damn one of them was the boot scooting boogie. I'm flailing around out there. I don't have a shit and clue what, what's going on. I'm flailing around like a fresh caught catfish just hit the bottom of an aluminum boat in August. I'm talking about I ain't got uh -huh. no clue. <laughs> what's these country ass analogies, bro? What is these country analogies about? What? He was flailing around like a freshly caught catfish in the bottom of a boat. What? I'm flailing around out there. I don't have a shit and clue what, what's going on. I'm flailing around like a fresh caught catfish that just hit the bottom of an aluminum boat in August. I'm talking about I ain't got no <laughs> clue what's going on. It's hot. I'm fat. I got a bunch of shit going on. I am sweating more than a fresh fuck fox in a damn forest fire at this point. And then, uh, it, it, uh, <laughs> he's sweating more than what? than a fresh fuck fox in a damn forest fire. <laughs> Say that five times fast. At this point. And then, <laughs> uh, what the fuck is a wobble? Like, y'all didn't tell me nothing about this. I read all the comments and nobody say nothing about this. And apparently <laughs> when little John screamed, make your knees touch your elbow, his aunt almost broke my hip with her badonka donk. And you can't get off because they just, I'm in the middle of the shit, just kind of white man in it, just back and forth, just wiggling my hips. I don't know what's going on. I did know the electric slide. That was a good one. After that, lost. No idea what the hell was going on. Bro. None. Uh, I did, however, learn this. I learned that there's a big difference between a barbecue and a fish fry oh, down yes. here. Oh, yes. Because when we went to the barbecue, apparently everybody was on their best behavior. And a fish fry, <laughs> just, just anything goes. I mean, just anything goes. I mean, at the at the barbecue, the kids were acting right and had manners and stuff. But this fish fry, they don't give a fuck what you doing. And I had no idea that a flip flop could be used as a deadly weapon. Oh yeah, no. All my Latino followers, y'all know what the chancla is about. Uh, you know the chancla is is the ultimate weapon. But yes, a flip flop can be highly dangerous. They can swat that mosquito. They can come down and whoop your child with it. They can throw it across the room to get your attention. Yeah, anything's possible. Come on, let's be honest. He look, who's mad is that? Who mad is that? No idea. There was more little kids spanked with Jordan slides at this fish fry than anything I've ever seen. There ain't been that many baby boys booty spanks since Neverland Ranch was in full operation. Uh uh uh. I am still Yo. confused as hell. I feel like I had a beat on this. I mean, I was leading it and everything. I ain't, I ain't shit an ounce. Nothing. Sooner or later, I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm gonna quit no, being the laughing stock of these damn fish fries and barbecues. Barbecues. Shit. <laughs> hey. Do y'all think the white boy passed the test? Why is it so dark? Y'all think the white boy passed the test? I think he still needs some more training. He still needs some more time. What is it done doing? He still needs some more time. Right? He's not official. But uh, how y'all think he did? Leave in the comment section your favorite Jordans, too. All right? Your favorite Jordans. Uh, it's your boy, the Black James Bond, and we are out.